Hi, I guess if you found this video, you might have been searching for Cubase and MIDI Madness. If you're not familiar with MIDI Madness, it's a VST AU plugin that's an algorithmic melody generator. So if you haven't seen it before, go ahead and check out midimadnesssoftware.com and there's a free demo that you can download. If you do, there's one thing about MIDI Madness you need to know that there's no instructions for getting it set up with Cubase and it's not particularly intuitive on, um, on how to set that up. The plugin is, uh, it generates MIDI data, but it's not a MIDI plugin. It actually has to insert as a VST effect. And because of the routing, it's not going to insert into an audio track. There's a very specific way you'll have to set this up. So here's how you do it in Cubase. The first thing you need to do is set up an instrument track. Now, we're not going to set up an instrument here. We're going to leave it completely blank. And I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to actually put an instrument on this one just for the purpose of this demonstration. We'll just stick Lounge Lizard on here. That should sound good. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to go over to the mixer window, and why don't we name this Mini Madness? Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to go to the mixer and find that track, Mini Madness. I'm going to go into the inserts and I'm going to insert it here. And voila, there it is. Okay, we'll just put that down there. There's one more step we need to do now. Let's go back to the lounge lizard. How about I just echo this and make sure we're getting... Okay, we're getting noise out of that. Good. Over here, you'll see all MIDI inputs. We need to change the routing to select MIDI Madness. Okay, that's that plugin that was sitting on this track. Now we're pretty much good to go, except we've got to tell MIDI Madness to generate some, some information. So let's just make a four bar loop here. I like A today. I'm going to do A. Put a minor third. Let's put the fifth. And just for fun, how about we put the eleventh? I know that's a fourth, but we're going to call it an eleventh. And for the velocity, I'm just going to get rid of all the really quiet notes and say generate notes between half and full velocity. Kind of like some short notes. This, this bar, if you haven't seen it, you can generate only staccato type notes or you can mix staccato and legato, but I kind of like going somewhere down here. And for note length, don't forget to set some note lengths. So about quarters and sixteenths, and maybe just for fun, throw in the odd dotted sixteenth. I'm going to leave the octave, so it's going to generate it's going to generate notes within this octave. I won't play with humanize just yet, and we're going to hit generate. There's a bunch of data you can't hear it yet, so I'm going to start my sequencer, and there's all that. There's all that data right now. set this up on a track instrument and you can route it to an instrument by setting up that instrument and selecting its input from MIDI Madness which is living on that track. I hope that was helpful. Have fun.